well, the Dick's live stage. At some point, you probably found one of these episodes and you realized we recorded about 12 episodes of music. I'm not really sure where this episode is going to live. This is a, it's a joke on continuity, kids. When you do television, anything can be anywhere. But in this moment, you are in the vicinity of South by Southwest Legends, a local Seattle band uh, called La Fonda, fronted by Valerie and Veronica Tapasio. Good friends of mine, individuals I've worked with uh, for years, but uh, in the last year, they helped us relaunch uh, the Broadway Dick's Drive-Ins with a fun show and community. We took over the Edgewater Hotel. There was uh, Belltown Bloom, the first edition. They've been curating community. We want to thank the sponsors that make this stage happen. Uh, Dick's Drive-In, Twinkly Lights, Shoe Cart Construction, who's building the new Dick's Drive-Ins in Federal Way, opening this summer alongside my ad agency, Creative Empowerment, that has uh, helped uh, make this whole production possible. And just so excited for people to tune in to this show to support the band La Fonda and to, to discover their music if you've never heard them before. You're going to have great opportunities to hear their music back in Seattle. And uh, I, for one, am just so proud to uh, call my this band. God, I've been crying all day. Uh, I call this band my friends. And, uh, right! <laughs> and I am an unprofessional host, so I'm going to bail out because this is a professional band. La Fonda, support them. Oh 
much. That song was called New Mexico, and we're just so happy to be here. This is our first show during South by Southwest, and we just love it here. It's been sunny weather, good vibes, and this next song, this next song is called Living in the Amazon. All the songs that we are going to play today are off our record that we just dropped called We Are Infinite. This is Living in the Amazon.
oh man, this is my favorite part, getting to come hang out and like invade all these bands' faces. But you guys are used to it at this point. It's been a hell of a week. It's been the best week. It's been an amazing week. You've been a huge part. A lot of people don't know this, but you're like, you're not just the band that's performed at South By with Dick's Drivens more than any other band, but you also came out here and drove a lot of this set here with Madeline, our, our lead production designer, and, and helped build this entire thing that you're in. Yeah, I gotta say, this is uh, this crew working, it's been so life changing. It's been a wonderful experience. It's fun to see both sides of it and I was really nervous to perform for everyone because I've gotten to know everyone over the last week and um, now I'm just having a good time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Veronica, how can we all support La Fonda? You know, for every 10,000 plays that there is on Spotify, that's equivalent to a $40 t-shirt. So buy, buy our t-shirt, buy our merch. We have vinyl out. Buy our vinyl. Come to show. We, we play all the time in Seattle and we throw a big music festival called Belltown Bloom, which Dix is so gener generously a sponsor of. Um, so come to Belltown Bloom. Hang out. Have a good time. I just, I want to pause on that for a moment just for everyone out there because people watching are music fans and they're music supporters. 10,000 listens on Spotify. Almost every other band that's come in here has said, listen to Spotify. I don't even know how much time it would take me to listen to your... Like, I'd have to get some computers and set up constant listens to, like, give you $40 that's then split between the entire band. Like, the economies of music through the tech companies that in many ways are a huge part of our city are rough. And so if you really do want to support a band be a part of them in ways that are truly engaging uh, versus maybe listening to 10,000 songs. Or listen to 10,000 songs because that's both. super dope. <laughs> do, yeah, both. do both. Do it at the same time. Buy yes. a t-shirt while listening to 10,000 yes. songs. Sounds good to me. Um, well, then, uh, last question. What does it mean to kind of come into this space? Austin means so much to your band, I think. It is. And, and that's really cool because the connection between Seattle and Austin, we're similar cities. We're dealing with gentrification. We're dealing with tech. We're dealing with how do we maintain culture and art. And to be in this art gallery, Rich's art gallery, and to meet you know, Rich, the, the owner, what does that mean to you? And, and what has it felt like to, to build this space away from home? Because you do it so well uh, as a band, both of you, you know, uh, in Seattle. You know, I actually got to know Rich more over the week. And I think a lot of big cities are experiencing getting pushed out. And so invest in the culture of the arts, of, you know, the different mediums of art and um, you know it means a lot to us that Dix is able to do that for us and do you want to say something too? Yeah I just feel like thank you for building community and thank you for letting us grow and be part of your community. We first actually when it was we were just newly touring as a band it was 2018 we come rolling into this beautiful little production set that Dix had set up down at South by and that was our first year down at South by traveling and it just meant so much to us to come in and Saul was offering everybody Dix milkshakes and it really felt like being a home away from our home and that's when we we didn't know when we were walking into that room one day we were meeting our extended family that has been able to see us grow and become witnesses to our to our growth to our music to our healing, to our loves and our losses. So we are just so thankful for the opportunity to be here and share new music and the way that we've grown as a family and as a band family alongside a, a you. With, with, woo, with a Can I say a fun fact really quick? Yeah. So a lot of these songs, actually a majority of these songs were written in 2019 on that trip to... South to Lake South by. Travis. Yeah, so this next song the that we're gonna do, Kaleidoscope, was written at that mansion that that we stayed at. A, and an infamous show that we dreamt that music would be made there, and, and lo and behold, uh, at Memories. Dick Drivens, we get to see those perform. Yeah, we're time. I didn't see that, but I came up with a crazy idea. So you, <laughs> you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be at the end. Don't worry about it. We can't it. wait. We love yeah, surprises. Who doesn't? Bands <laughs> love surprises. I've learned that through the years. <laughs> this is a kaleidoscope.
What's your favorite Austin memory? Uh, Austin is just so special. This is our band's third time down here. And I just feel like this city and being in this music mecca and making the the travels to be able to be down here, you know, it catches us in such a beautiful space in life, especially when, you know, this is our third year as a band coming out of a pandemic. You know, we're, we've released a new record that we've worked on throughout the pandemic. So I just love how this city meets you right where you are. And it always has as a band that's been growing together. You know, we were stepping into our eight years as a band. And I just feel like I'm so excited to go to shows. I'm so excited to play shows and to be here with our band family and to with you all in your creative minds and the this incredible space that you've you know spent weeks building is such an honor and a deep privilege to be able to make it to this beautiful space. It feels like it's just such a sacred, sacred part of our journey making this trip. Yeah, this is Spokane Views and um, my sister and I, before we were a band, she lived in Spokane and this is kind of our story before that, before we, before us.
Oh. Yeah. Do I get any? Oh, now I have my surprise. This is my, like, I love this song, Time. I love La Fonda, by the way. One big round of applause. Woo! I have a favor, and I think you'll get this, so just give me, like, my 30 seconds. But uh, it, it takes so much behind the scenes to make a recording like this happen. And you've seen it, kind of the blood, the sweat, the tears. The, the The tossed ice cream cake. The issues with uh, Buca de Beppos, all of it. Uh, Buca de Beppo. Buca de Beppos. Buca de Beppo. Uh, ask Aaron Jones. He, he knows a story about me. Anyways, um, spilling my own tea. Uh, but the reason why I say this is there are people that are out there that have just done incredible work, and I think we, they deserve to be shown on camera. And I'd love to start with you, but if your band could like play the chords of time or just like... Wants to play the whole song? Yeah, I would, but I want you to start it like low because we're gonna make some content like live. So thank you so much to La Fonda. Thank, thank you, you to our sponsors, Dick Strivens, Shoe Cart Constructions, Twinkly, Creative Empowerment, and let's uh, close out this eight here uh, television show with some introductions. The first, we have Veronica Tapasio. Hi. Really assistant coach, jack of all trades, did everything on this set. I'm gonna introduce the cameras and let them get their business. We got Lighten. Ty McLeod, he's a model, ladies, he's an actor, he's a filmmaker, he's taken. Yeah, he's got a girlfriend. We got Blake Burton. What? Yeah, look at that kid. Look at him. Look at everything he does. The NAS podcast. He does camera. He interviews. He books bands. He creates community at such a young age. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, directing Chris Brown. Yes, Chris. Yes. Give me a, a little bit here. I gotta, I gotta take some, some, some of this. And if you can get into the audio room, look, well, look behind you. We got Mishi, Mishi Lavari. She built the set alongside Nico Nordstrom. Their set built is the sets older than the gallery, folks. These ladies are geniuses. We got Rachel Hill. She keeps the bands just jazz and keeps them happy. Kyle, you did some good work. Rosie, come out here. She can do flips and stuff. She's amazing. She's just helped us build the set in every way. Go show the sound crew. We got Jake, our lead sound guy. Oh my God, we got Ray. Ray, I love you. And then we gotta follow me upstairs. Woo! My voice is breaking. We gotta follow me around the corner. We're gonna end with you, Curtis. So just uh, don't you worry. I didn't forget about you, Curtis. Shout out to Black Future House for being our partner on everything and helping to make so much happen in the set. And looking up here, oh my goodness, we found everybody. <laughs> we got Rich Sam Richard Samuel, the owner of the gallery. We got Harjit Rondawa, assistant light, assistant everything, keeping me calm. We got Madeline Joe. she helped build the entire set. She saw it, everything. She sweated it, she shipped it. We got Connery, he was keeping the lock on that uh, other artist's house for me, keeping things rolling. He's helped bring a band out. I guess we can, uh, and not myself. Actually, no, we cannot. Sorry, Curtis. Well, we gotta do Matthew. Oh, I'm so sorry. Getting in another camera. Matthew Chai Chester, our British bloke. Walk through. Get him on camera. Somebody get Matthew. Make sure he's there. Oh, yeah. And then Curtis Von Kruger, the man. He's done it all in a sprained ankle. He's put in hundreds of hours. My name, well, I got to figure out who I am. Uh, I'm Saul Spady, Love and I guess. Uh, and this is LaFonda performing one of my favorite songs, Time.
day, another morning When showing up can be a struggle to do And when I panic, I'm wasting my youth You tell me, honey, you just keep doing you You tell me, TikTok is always my time, babe Pushing through to grow to the beat I was meant to be song for me. I love it. I might have 10,000 listens on that, so you're welcome. <laughs> you owe me 40 bucks. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, the confessional is I, I think I did everybody on the production crew and tried to shout everyone out, but this is such a dreams to reality uh, thing. It's, a, it's our partners that give us support when we do things, and I totally forgot my partner, Shakira Erickson, my fiance who's hiding behind the TV. Somebody get her on camera, who's... Literally, she's, uh, if there was like, this week on production, another member of the production team spills the tea to Shakira in her confessional tent. <laughs> and uh, no, but it's, it, there are so many people that make art and dreams and things happen from the sponsors to your band members, to the production, to the audience. We love you, audience, tree people. Yeah. It's a reference to people who used to sit on trees and like sneak into shows. Uh, now we just, Sneak in, I guess. Uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, just all of that. Th we, we really appreciate everybody who's behind the scenes who's made this happen. Uh, this week on production, the production team went to South by Southwest and crushed it. And La Fonda, La Fonda was great. Rich's art gallery was incredible. And uh, we'll see where we end up next. Thank you, everybody.